All right, so today we're going to be talking about Read Aloud, a text-to-speech voice narrator, which is basically just an alternative to the default Mac text-to-speech that works specifically in Chrome. It's not really a replacement to something like CAPTI because CAPTI is more about p taking large pieces of information. This takes very small lines, and say you wanted to select this, you would just read it with Read Aloud. Uh, CAPTI is better for large chunks and does a little bit more. This is useful because you don't want to have to paste everything into CAPTI every time you want to read. So different things, but they both have very good uses. So click on this link here, and then we're going to add it to Chrome. But before you do that, remember that we don't take any legal responsibility for anything you do on your computer. OK, and then click Add Extension, and it will pop up in the top right corner. So let's say we want to listen to a book, or we were reading a specific thing. Uh, so let's go to Project Gutenberg. We'll try, uh, yeah, let's do Beowulf. Uh, we'll go here. And so we have this book. So let's say you want to read something, you just select it and you right click it and hit read aloud, select the text. The present work is a modest effort to reproduce approximately, in modern measures, the venerable epic Beowulf. Approximately, I repeat, for a very it. close. And then you can play it and it'll start back from the sentence you're at. Approximately, I repeat. And if you want to listen to a new line, you just stop it and you select the new line. And you can skip forward and skip back. But what really is useful about this is that you can actually uh, do a lot of different things with the options. So right click it and click options. And you can change the speed, which I'm going to put up to maximum. Uh, the voice you can change. I like the Google English one. Uh, it should be US English female, or sorry, that's UK English female. US English is good. You also have uh, Google Translate voices as well. It doesn't really matter for now. Um, it'll say some voices may not work at high speed. I believe this one will. Click text highlighting on, and then you can just hit escape. And so let's go back to this. Let's say we're reading it now. Right click it, read to loud, select the text. Okay, so two things happened while I was recording. First, my sound bugged out, and I'm not really sure why. Uh, but I cut that, and the second is that I had to switch voices because the speed of the voice was too high. So if you switch to the Google Translate US English voice, then it should work. Uh, but what we really want to do is we want to be able to listen to this with keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to go to the option. We're going to right-click and hit Options again. And then you have this little thing. It's very hard to see, but it says Edit Shortcut Keys right here. So click on that. All right, and so now we have the option to change the extension shortcut. So to activate the extension, we are going to hit con Control uh, and then Shift and then X, and that will automatically activate it if you have Chrome open. Forward, we're going to do Control Shift D. Uh, uh, play pause, we're going to do Control Shift S. Rewind, Control Shift A, and stop Control Shift W. Um, and we're going to change these all to global, so that means you can actually control this outside of Chrome, except for this one. You can't do that outside of Chrome, unfortunately. And we're going to close that down. Um, but why why do we choose these specific shortcut keys that I have right here? Why why these ones as opposed to something else? We could have easily chosen some other keyboard shortcuts. Why do we choose these ones? Well, it actually kind of makes sense. So Control Shift. X starts the he uh, the speaking, but then we have S going to be the play pause button, and then A goes back and D goes forward. So you can kind of see it goes this is forward, this is back, and then W completely stops it. So it kind of logically makes sense. Your key fingers are right next to each other, which is really helpful, and you can activate it all with one hand, which is, in my opinion, very useful. So that's basically why I chose those extension keys, and so let's try this in our Reading. Let's try to play this with Control Shift X. The present work is a modest effort to reproduce approximately in modern measures the venerable epic Beowulf. Approximately, I repeat, for a very close reproduction. We can pause it with Control Shift S. Going back, we hit Control Shift A. Forward, Control Shift D. I'm going to pause it again with S. And to close it, we hit Control Shift W. Uh, to play again, uh, we hit another Control Shift X. And for example, if you accidentally close the window by clicking, you can just hit Control Shift X and it'll open it again. So to me, this is really useful because I can read basically anything in Google Chrome. There are a few instances where it glitches out and it doesn't work. But for the most part, this works very well for me. So this is what I use for a lot of my reading. If I'm just in the middle of something and I want to read something, I just will use this read aloud. 
It's a really great extension. I've tested a lot of extensions in the past and none of them worked as well as this one. So this is what I use. Let me know if you have any other extensions that you like better in the comments and I'll see you next time.